Is playing video games actually a waste of time? Of course, if you think about it in a productive view, video games seem like the worst thing you could do to yourself. You're sitting on the couch in a chair while you're doing something that isn't making you money or making you any smarter. In this video, I'll share how much of a good or bad thing gaming could be in your life and discuss how you might actually not be wasting your time after all. First, what are some things that make video games a benefit? Number one, entertainment value. At its core, gaming is entertainment. It offers a rich, interactive experience that can be as engaging as any blockbuster movie or best-selling novel. The key difference is that games are interactive, requiring you to think and make decisions and react. This engagement can make gaming a really immersive way to relax and escape from the stress of daily life. If I'm mad or sad over something, video games work better than movies or books as a distraction because you're always doing something. Going to a story mode game, for example, makes you literally focused in another world and the plot of that world instead of yours. It doesn't even have to be anything totally magical. It could be a game like Life is Strange, which is mostly just conversations with friends in the game, but it still takes me into another dimension. However, playing a game like Valorant, for example, makes you distracted because you always have to be 100 focused on the game itself. There's also your rank at stake and your teammates' ranks as well, so it gives you a goal outside of your reality. Kind of how working a busy job might actually pass the time quicker than if you're just not working at all. If you're just sitting around, the time passes slower. Number 2. Social Connection Online games have transformed to social interaction allowing games to connect, communicate, and collaborate from anywhere over the world. This can be especially meaningful for people who have limited opportunities to socialize in person, whether due to geographical distance, physical limitations, or social anxiety. Games can often serve as a platform for forming new friendships or strengthening existing ones. Now, yes, it's much better to be outside um, with your friends in person. However, playing games when it's like late or rainy could just keep them more connected to you during times when you don't or can't hang out in person. A lot of my friends in high school I've got closer to just due to similar game preferences and we just played and chatted and became close that way. I personally have not met someone through gaming, like let's say I met like an online friend and we met up or something, I never experienced that but I know people have and that could also be another plus. Now, most people when criticizing gaming think about productivity, like you could be spending your time doing other things, better things, acquiring knowledge, hitting the gym, or working more. However, I think the balance of gaming is where it's actually really important and where you can actually see a benefit. It's actually better for humans to have leisure time in order to be more productive. For example, a lot of times it's, I find it better if I took a 10 minute break in between every 30 minutes I study, as opposed to a long 6 hour study session. It's actually worse in terms of productivity if you're studying and working and hitting the gym all day, like 14 hours of just work and work and work and just productivity because you get so worn out that your productivity itself becomes worse. There's a study done a few years ago, I don't like it if I can find it again, but basically people who study for 4 hours a day actually obtain more knowledge than if they study for 10. How does this tie into gaming? Well, gaming is probably the most entertaining form of entertainment for many, and it may seem like a waste of time. And in the end, yeah, it kinda is, but it does have its benefits because Moderate amounts of gaming can actually boost your life's happiness without sacrificing much productivity because having more productivity wouldn't help you if you are just productive all the time and it could actually be a detriment. So having gaming as part of your leisure time while working a lot can actually be a win-win scenario for everybody. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.